All I really wanna see is the Bunny. I don't really need a D, I need the Bunny. All a bad bitch need is a K, K, C Money Money Hi dolls, welcome back to my channel So for today's video, I wanna share with you A couple things that I have picked up for myself for Mother's Day You know, Mother's Day just recently passed And it's very important for everyone to show gratitude to mothers because it's not an easy job and unfortunately if you know me personally there's some certain circumstances that I can't really talk to you guys about right now some stuff that I'm going through in my personal life but if you know you know so I decided to treat myself to a couple of things for Mother's Day this video is not a video to brag or boast about what I got myself because it's not really a lot and it's not luxury items but it's some things maybe that I have been eyeing and I went to the mall and I'm like you know what I'm always thinking about my kids and getting my kids things so let me go treat myself to a couple things because I deserve it I went to Aldo and I was browsing um, Aldo and I picked up a couple of, of accessories I picked up um, two earrings. These are just like your regular gold hoops. They're very big. They're really, really large, but they're super, super lightweight. I paid $8 for them, so nothing too, too expensive. I like buying my accessories from Aldo because, you know, they're not expensive. And you wear them until they tarnish or whatever, and then you can get rid of them and you won't feel bad. So. I got these earrings and then I got these smaller hoops from Aldo as well. They have like an eye on it. I picked up these. These are really small, but they, the eye is like really cute. It reminds me of like the evil eye or some lashes. Like I got my eye on you. I'll be inserting like little clips um, of everything so that you can see the details and how everything looks close up. Also from Aldo, I picked up a fanny pack. When I went to Aldo, it was buy one, get one, 40% off. So I had bought some heels, and then I bought this bag, which ended up being like $20 or something like that. It reminds me of the Chanel fanny pack. So it's a fanny pack with the quilted, you know, print in the front um, that has this zipper here where you can put your stuff. So yeah, it's a fanny pack. It's medium size, it's not too little, not too big. With the gold detailing, um, it has a zipper here in the front. And then it also has another zipper here in the back, which you can probably put your phone or whatever you wanna put back there. And then it comes with this little keychain here. I love the the tassel and I love the little gold coins and the strap here so you could either wear this as a fanny pack or across your body so these have been really in lately and they had this in like a beige color a red color and the black but I love the black fanny pack with the gold detailing so the next thing that I picked up from Aldo are some heels um like I said, they had a really big sale there. I went last week, so the sale may still be on, whereas buy one, get one, 40% off. And that was including, you know, the shoes and heels, sneakers, sandals, accessories, pretty much everything. I didn't really see a lot of things that I liked, but I did pick up these nude high heels um, to wear to work and to wear to church. Not to be going out because I rarely go out, but I really needed some nude heels. I like the chunky heel, they're really short. They also do come in wide width, which I got an eight and a half wide, because I do have wide feet. So it's just a standard, you know, classic little heel. It's suede. You know, something simple, something cute, minimalistic. So this was the other thing that I picked up from Aldo, super cute. 
The next thing that I picked up for myself for Mother's Day are these super neon brushes from BH Cosmetic. So as you can see, like I've already used them, but I just really, really love the neon. It comes with nine brushes. You have a, a, a variety of brushes from eye to face. And it's like super, super cute. Like look at the neon, super, super cute, super inexpensive. I did see this when I was in Ulta and they were all out of stock. So I went on BH Cosmetics and I ordered them. Um, also, if you order from BH Cosmetics, you can probably enter a coupon code to get some money off to save you some coins. So yeah, I thought this was super cute, especially like to display on your vanity. Super, super bright, super summery, super cute. So I picked up these brushes from BH Cosmetics. So I was in Ross and I picked up a couple things from Ross because I love going to Ross. I love saving me some money. So I had picked up this perfume. It's called Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. And it smells really good, but it doesn't last all day long. I paid like $20 for it. So, you know, it's probably a perfume that I could wear around the house. Um, it's light pink like this, and it has this little puff ball. And it does, it smells like candy. If you know the, um, It's a perfume that smells just like this. I don't remember the name of it. Um, I don't remember the name of it. Anyways, I picked up the Ariana Grande perfume. It's super girly, super cute. It doesn't last a long time, at least not on my skin, but this is something that I'll probably throw on like to be around the house, you know, when I get out the shower, going to bed. So I got this. And since I'm obsessed with perfume, you know, why not? The next couple of things that I got from Ross are some accessories. Um, this is from the brand Harper Grace. And it's these dainty little earrings. I paid $9.99 for them. It says 18 karat gold over sterling silver little earrings. Um, they have little rhinestones around them. And in the middle, they have like a religious, um, like a religious symbol. And I will enter in a clip so that you can see a close-up on them. So I thought these were super cute. Ross had a lot of cute little accessories, which I've never seen. But, you know, I don't know if they're all from, like, a related brand. But they all had, like, similar colorful packaging. So everything, like, in the packaging like this was super cute. Uh, I got this sterling silver, like, rosary necklace. So... It was $12.99 and it has a cross and it also has a little religious symbol charm right next to the cross. And then the next piece of jewelry I got is this necklace. It's from Giliana, New York. And it's a sterling silver necklace. I paid $12.99 for it. And this one is in silver and it says Mom Boss. So I thought this necklace was perfect for me since I am a mom boss and in between the mom and boss there's like a heart and I thought this was really cute. So as you guys know I like Bobble Bar and when I was in Target the other day I ran into um, these little Bobble Bar kits of jewelry that they had. It says Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. So, I paid $20 for this, and as you know, Bobble Bar can be a little bit expensive for accessories, so I paid $20, and when you open it up, it comes with two pair of earrings, which I think is a really great deal because I think on the Bobble Bar website, they're a little over $20 for each, so these are some tassel earrings, like a coral color, and then these are a tortoise, lightweight tortoise um little earrings. They remind me of some earrings that um, Adrian Balloon has in her new accessory line. So I didn't pick up these earrings from her line, but I got the ones from Bobble Bar and super cute. Everything is like lightweight, so I can't wait to style these earrings. So of course it wasn't a Mother's Day haul without actually buying some things from Sephora. So I picked up a couple things from Sephora. Uh, I bought this after the VIB sale. Um, 
I was just so busy during the VIP sale that I didn't get the chance to, you know, get my 20% off because I am rouge status, but oh well. I cheated myself anyways and I went to Sephora. So the first thing that I picked up is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Powder. The Banana Bright Face Primer. Um, and yeah, I tested it out on my hand at the store and I've been eyeing this online and I had it on my cart online and I really thought it was going to smell like banana, but it doesn't. It smells like orangey. Uh, I really need a face primer. I'm trying to search for a face primer for, that's good for oily skin, but it is like a peachy color. It smells like like citrus. It smells like orangey and like citrusy. When you rub it in, it does leave your skin glowy. So yeah, I picked up this primer. Hopefully it worked. If you guys would like to see a tutorial of me testing out all the makeup that I bought during this haul, then please let me know down below. I'd love to do that. So the first, that was the first thing that I got. I also picked up the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. Once again, I thought this was going to smell like bananas and it does smell the same, like the same as the primer, like citrusy, orangey, and um, the texture is somewhat similar to the face primer. Hopefully, I like it. I'm looking for a brightening eye cream, and I've had my eye on this as well, so I got this. The next thing that I picked up from um, Sephora was the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Islanding. I'm really glad that I decided to go into the store and pick this up and not purchase it online because I was going to go the shade up, but the shade up um, was definitely orange, really, really orange. So I got Island Ting, which is like a more neutral color. The packaging is just so luxe. It's like rose gold, it says Fenty Beauty in the front, and when you open it up, it does have a mirror and it has your bronzer so it feels really creamy and I think I'm really really gonna like it hopefully it's not too too light because I swatched it and it seemed like a color that I can work with but I definitely didn't want to go up because the other color was very very orangey also I wanted to pick up the fancy foundation because it seems like I just cannot get the color right but after swatching and testing out like almost every shade that could be my possible shade it's like my undertone is just too yellow and too golden for any of the colors that she has because everything is just seems to be either too orange or too white for my skin tone i mean and i do know that she worked hard on creating so many different shades for every complexion but there's like millions and millions of people in the world so of course there's not going to be a shade for everyone, and that's okay. The, um, the lady at Sephora did recommend the Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation, and I did test it out in the store, and I walked around the mall with it, and I really, really liked how it applied and how it lasted on my skin. It's a matte foundation, which is good because I'm oily, and especially with the summertime, I want a foundation that's going to control my oils. I got the shade 33 Walnut in the Sephora foundation and it's, it was super inexpensive. It was like half the price of the Fenty foundation that I was eyeing and I think I'm really going to like this. And also when I was in the Sephora section, I picked up a Sephora concealer, which I used to use this back in like 15, 16 when I did work at um, Sephora and I got the shade 12 Pecan Pie. So. I really like this concealer. I forgot why I stopped using it. Probably just testing out, you know, new concealers that come out, but I got this. I also picked up from Huda Beauty, the Huda Beauty, the new nude palette, which I've also had my eye on this a little bit, and it's so pretty on the outside that it comes with this card here with the eyes and this mirror and the colors are right up my alley these nudes and these mauves and these shimmeries like i cannot wait to do a makeup look with this um i was really hesitant to get this because there was a lot of people saying you know 
it was like not worth the money and then some people were like it really is and then you know some people saying that oh you know you have to know how to work with it so I think I'm really gonna like it I swatched it and I even swatched the glitters and the shimmers and it had, I have very very high hopes for this the next thing that I picked up from Sephora is the Bite Beauty Agave Daytime Lip Balm I love Bite Beauty's lipsticks so I've heard also a lot of good things about their you know their uh, agave lip mask and I didn't want the lip mask in the tube where you have to zip your finger in so I thought the lip scrub that came in like a lipstick form would be really really good for me so I picked this up I also cashed out on some uh, Sephora points and I got the Junk Elephant it comes with the D Bronzy Sunshine Drops and the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Junk Elephant is also a skincare brand that I love so when I seen this I'm like let me cash my 100 points and get this and then the lady at Sephora um, gave me this Becca Set and Refresh powder the hygienist which i think i have the bigger size but she gave it to me for free so why not the next thing i got were some vans it came in this pretty little bag um i had paid extra for this to it was for a donation for children with autism that um vans collaborated with to give them some surfing lessons so if I can support any special needs children, you know that's me because it's very near and dear to my heart. And I just got the classic Vans. I'm a size 8, so I got an 8 in women. I've already worn these like twice, so I picked these up. The next thing that I got is this watch that I'm wearing. I got a Michael Kors watch. So I picked this up, um, I think from Ross too, it was like $80. So I got this watch from Ross, Michael Kors, the Jimmy Choo, I think it's Fever, oh, the Jimmy Choo Fever. Um, when I first saw this, I was at Ulta, and I smelled it, and I'm like, hmm, this kind of smells like my YSL Black Opium. I'm not going to get it, because why well, have two perfumes that smell the same, but then every time I would go to Ulta or go to Macy's, I'd smell it again, and I'm like, damn, you know what? This doesn't smell like black opium. It, it's kind of similar, but very, very different. And honestly, I think this has replaced my black opium. Not as strong. It's a little bit more sweet. It's definitely a fall and winter scent, but still something that you can use all year round. And I definitely been loving it. I just got this last week and I've already used like this much. I've used it non-stop, day and night, every day, and if you know me, you know I love perfume, you know I love to smell good, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you see it in the store, definitely smell it because you're going to love it. So yeah, Jimmy Choo Fever, highly recommend. Another perfume that I've had my eye on lately and just decided to pick it up for Mother's Day is the YSL Mom Paris, the one with the little bow on it. This also smells so delicious, so yummy. It definitely smells so, so good. Like, I can't say this. I love perfume. I love smelling good. I love collecting perfume. Well, one of the many things I like to collect are perfume. And this just smells so good. It lasts all day long. It comes with this cute little bow here. And, yeah, the next time you're in... Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, wherever you buy your perfume. Check these out, you're gonna love it. So well, that's it guys, that's everything that I picked up for myself for Mother's Day. Once again, this video is not to brag or anything because honestly, I don't think, you know, this is anything to brag about. Just something that I wanted to share with you guys. When we're mothers, we put our children first, we barely buy each Like, I know, well I know when it comes to me, you know, I'm always thinking about my kids and what they need first and putting them first. And I rarely treat myself. I walk past things that I want all the time. And because I'm so more and because I'm so focused on them and what they need and what they want, you know, I rarely think about myself. So this Mother's Day, it was important for me to just go out and buy things that I've had my eye on, or if I've seen something in the store that I liked, not to walk past it this time because 
it was Mother's Day and I deserve it. So I hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. Happy belated Mother's Day to all of the mothers. Not easy being a mother. And that's it guys. If you want to see me use any of the makeup products in the next tutorial, please let me know. I would love to do that for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.